Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. We found ourselves back in London once again at Hobbs's place, and something doesn't seem quite right here. There's a crowbar on the floor, which we're straight away going to pick up. I think we might have picked something up at the end of the last episode as well. I can't hey, really go take a look at this. Was it a chain or something? That was maybe the hmm, lock. Do you think someone used it to force the gate? Possibly, but their loss is our gain. You never know when you're going to need a crowbar. Yeah, let's let's have a look, actually. Yeah, we did. We found the chain. I thought so. I think that was what was used to hold the gate together. Um, so, we can have a look at the van. Okay, the radio. Was that there before? I didn't need to turn the radio on. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the horn again. The handbrake. Uh, nothing over here. We can... I decided to leave the handbrake alone. So we could potentially use the horn again to get attention, but I think for now let's leave that. Uh, there is a bin and, a dra and obviously the drain pipe we saw before. I decided to leave the dumpster alone. And George is just deciding to leave everything alone, it seems. The large dumpster was full of garbage. So we've got the letterbox, we've got the drain pipe. Can we do anything with that? There is the hook on there. I wonder if we can like, hang the chain off of that or something. That's hey, Seagull. get out of here! Seagull's very brave. Seagull problems, George? Yeah. That's one nasty bird. Can we, uh, can we give it any food or anything? We have got the biscuit. As I showed the bird the cookie, he looked at me with contempt. I guess he just wasn't into rich tea. <laughs> Stupid bird. Um, right, so we don't seem to have any other um, food. Nope. All right, well, let's see if we can put this onto here. That wouldn't make any sense. Mm, okay, can we move the crane? Or is the, yeah, okay, the seagull's just causing problems, isn't it? I mean, maybe we can scare it off using the horn, I suppose. Just want to try the crowbar as well. Uh, well, it helps if I actually click the right thing. Right, let's try the crowbar here on the crane. I mean, could we just use the crowbar on the bird? <laughs> I mean, it seems a bit a bit dark, but might get rid of it. I didn't want to hurt the bird. Okay, we don't want to hurt the bird, which makes sense, but... Uh, what else have we got here? Um, not not an awful lot, I don't think. Can these combine? They didn't go together. No, they don't. All right, well, let's jump down for now, then. There's the balcony here. The door, I imagine, will be locked, but I suppose I should probably just try it. Maybe we can use the crowbar on the door. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, <laughs> three Mississippi. No Hobbs. Nope. All right. Out cold, probably. All right, let's try the crowbar on the door. See if we can break it open. There was no lip to fit the crowbar into. Oh no. Okay, so we are. I, I think we are going to have to maybe find a way to rotate this so we can climb up or something. Um, let's try the van again. See if the horn will potentially scare the bird off. A blast on the horn had worked last time. Give it a go. Yeah, there it goes. Alright. Now, I don't know if the bird comes back after a while or anything like that, but it certainly worked. Let's hope there's no bad guys in this place, though, the people who broke in. Because now they definitely... Are you kidding me? It's back. Get lost. Maybe Nico can uh maybe Nico can press the horn while we're here. By a seagull again? It seems so, yeah. That is one hell of a sharp beak. Yeah, I hey, mean Nico. Seagulls what are vicious. Says? Really vicious. Can you do the horn? Do me a favor and honk the horn. No problem. Nice. Teamwork. Teamwork always wins. I hope. <laughs> there it 
goes. Right, let's see if we can do anything with this crane now. The crane was rusted solid. I'd need more force to free it. Okay, so perhaps the crowbar? Oh, it's back again! Alright, Nico. Hey, Nico. Can we do that oh, again, gosh. please? Nico, could you honk the horn again? Sure. Doesn't stay gone for a very long time, does it? Yeah, Nico, if you want to do that as slowly as possible as well, that'd be really helpful while we hang here on this drain pipe <laughs> with a vicious bird. Right. I mean, I don't think we've got any oil or anything to unrust it, so this is the only thing I can think of. Ah, yeah, here we go. Be careful, Georges. Be we. Hey. Right. right there, Nico. I'll come and let you in. Well, that worked. Uh, I was expecting to have to use the tr the uh, chain as well, but that obviously wasn't a thing. So nice. Oh, and we've skipped to the part where Nico just turns up, I suppose. What was that? It's that crunching sound. Something isn't right. You'd better be careful. Can we put the lights on? It's definitely like a weird crunching sound going on in here. Uh, lift. I mean, are there any light light buttons? I decided that some lighting might help. Yeah. Okay. It might be the record player. The fuse actually. box buzzed slightly, but nothing happened. I guess the lighting circuit had gone. Ah. George, be careful. Hop said those circuits were old. Yeah, I think I'll leave the lights off. Okay, I'm, I'm wondering if it's the the um, the stereo making that sound. Whether it's still spinning. Thanks, Josh. That was really yeah, starting to annoy was. me. Okay, so it was that. Um, we've got the lift. It's a painting covered up, which is interesting. Right, what's this? Whoa. Is it... You better come and take a look at this. Is it Le Mal Maledictio? Mon dieu. It's a Manet. Oh, no, it's not. It's a Hobbes. Uh, it's a fake. In the style of Manet. Or, as the experts prefer to call it, a forged Manet. Mm. Hobbes isn't just a restorer. He's a full-blown forger. I think we knew that, though, oh, right? that must be... You. Hobbes is good. <laughs> you look very... Pretty. And <laughs> that's you. Oh my, you look very violated. <laughs> yes. Is that Lady Piermo? Yes. Oh no. Is she? Yep. In your Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh. So all along we were just modeling for a forgery. Forgery. Terrific, huh? I can add it to my murder rap. <laughs> Let's just pretend this never happened, okay? Well, I mean, we're not going to get to see the painting, obviously, but I, I feel like Lady Piermont might want a copy of this from Hobbes had done how a fantastic job, it. but I hope the painting would never see the light of day. Yeah, understandable, George, understandable. Um, can we go this way? Uh, no. So there's the lift, the stereo. I mean... The balcony doors. Can we do anything with the lift? It does seem like there is still electricity because there's a light on on that. Why is the music turned sinister? Mm, okay. What are you doing? I'm not exactly sure yet. No, uh, just playing around with the lift, apparently. Locked. If Hobbs is home, he's behind this door. Okay, so we need to find a way into there. So we've got the chain. We've got some yarn. We've got the crowbar. Uh, can we, like, attach the chain to the lift or anything? Oh, we can. Okay, I'm not sure how that's going to... Oh, we're going to attach it to the door. That should right. be a the trick. There we go. Nice. Doesn't look like we can get our chain back, though. So what now? 
Let's see what Hobbs keeps tucked away up here. Oh, this is definitely his room. Ugh. Dirty so place. So this is Hobbs' lair. Not exactly the penthouse suite, is it? <gasps> Look, we recognize these paintings. Strange. Hey, Nico, come and take a look at this. This painting, there's something familiar about it. It's a woman's buttock shawl. <laughs> I know that, but I recognize it. You know what? I think it's Bijou. I don't want to know how you know that shawl. <laughs> it's on the wall. But didn't she say the painting was hidden behind her behind? Exactly. Oh, yeah. So maybe. Damn it, it's screwed into the wall. Right, well, I'm thinking the, um, the crowbar might be able to help us there. Let's just have a look around before this we This is a true masterpiece. A fake masterpiece, you mean? Have a look. Apart from some old pipe work, the cupboard was empty. So the phone's got something blinking on it, maybe like a, a voicemail. Nico. What? what is it? Hobbs's answer phone, and he's got messages. Let's hear them. You have two messages. Message one. Hobbs, Medovsky here. I'm at the airport. I have to be quick. My flight leaves shortly on that. Final call for passengers for flight BA-470 to Barcelona. It is a shame that you would like to be released from our agreement. It was mutually lucrative. But if that is your wish, I respect it. <laughs> I doubt that. I shall send my men around to tie up and able to say. Oh, no. Loose ends being Hobbs, right? Message two. Hello, darling. It's Bijou. Look, sweetie, but I'm going to have to put our little plans on hold. I've spoken to that insurance man and his girlfriend. I told them pretty much everything. I want to be with you, Wilfie. But Henri's mother, you know. Anyway, I can't possibly leave him until his name is I feel so guilty, darling. Do you think he knew about us? Do take care with that Russian, my love. Bon voyage, my love. A bientôt. You have no more messages. Yeah, so I'm thinking Madovsky's guy could have got here. Wow. So Bijou knew about everything. Yep. At least she was faithful to Henri in the end. And what if Madovsky's guy got here first? I'm thinking he did. What if Madovsky's guy's still here? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Well, um, let's have a look at all the other Hobbs's stuff. Hobbs' sandals lay on the floor. Yeah, I wonder if... The sofa was a wreck. I wonder if our friend uh, ended up in a bad situation with Madovsky's... Oh, uh, no. Yeah, here we go. What's up? Nico. Oh no, Hobbs! She, we couldn't see that from Is the doorway? He... Dead? Sure looks that way. Poor guy. He's been strangled. You oh. know, maybe Simeon was right. It seems like anyone who gets close to this painting dies. The painting didn't kill him, Georges. This is all about money. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, do we need to examine him? Whoever yeah. did this was a professional. We need to be careful. He's got something clearly in his pocket. Hobbs have been strangled. Okay, can we look at anything? Just mint. Dead man's mint. No law against taking him. You have no shame, Yeah, Josh. he really doesn't. Dead man's mint is lovely. Right, uh, I'm not sure. Hobbs had got in way over his head and paid the price. Yeah, there's no escape from people like that. You know, once once you're in, you're in. You can't just be released from being involved in all this stuff. You know too much. Um, all right, I, th I actually think that might be all we can do there. What's in this frame, though? Is it just an empty frame? Take a look at this. It just looks like an empty frame, honestly. 
someone's cut out a painting from this frame in a hurry. The canvas left around the frame looks just like La Maledizio. Right. If that was La Maledizio, then someone's beaten us to it. No, but I don't think remember so. Remember how Bijou said the original was hidden? You're right. And Hobbes is a master forger. Then whoever stole this one has got themselves a genuine Hobbes fake. Yep. And the original should still be around here, hidden somewhere. Yeah, it's going to be behind the uh, the Bijou painting, isn't it? So, I mean, I don't know that we need to look at all of these paintings here. This pin board might be interesting, though. Nico, come and take a look at this. Nico, thank you. Looks like Hobbes has been busy. A map of Catalonia, sketches and notes on the painting. Do you think Hobbes was looking for this tabula veritatis? I think Hobbes was a lot cleverer than he seemed. Mm. All right, well, we've got a lot of things marked on here. Lots of castles and things and some various other bits. But uh, we are out of time for this episode, so we will take a closer look at that in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.